Hello, it's Gary Simon here with the Design Letter and DesignCourse.com, and today we're going to take a look at layer masks and what they are. So let's just go to File, New, Width 800, I'm going to choose Height 500, Resolution 72 pixels per inch, hit OK. I'm going to zoom up to 100% real quick up here, and all right, so I'm going to create just a real basic cool looking type of image here uh, real quickly uh, and we're going to use it uh, with layer masks or create it with layer masks. So with this tool selected right here which is the custom shape tool just left click and drag out to get it. We're going to choose up here a heart. And these are predefined shapes. All right. I'm just going to choose red for the foreground color. Hit OK and then hold shift and drag out to a heart around that size and then with the move tool just move it over here to the left just a little bit okay so the idea I had is instead of just being uh, this heart being a solid color say for example if I wanted to put an image inside of here well we would do that with a layer mask so first we need an image and the image right here I just went to Google Images and just typed uh, Paradise HDR. And the second image, and this may be, it may be different results for you based on whenever you did this, um, is this image right here. Really, you can use any image you want. Uh, if I right click, click Copy Image, uh, and I'm using Google Chrome, by the way, for the browser, um, I could come in here and create a new layer. And then right here is where we cr we create a clipping mask. It is checkbox. Hit OK. Now you can see this layer has a little arrow that's pointing down towards the base layer, which is the heart. Uh, now I can go ahead and hit Control V to paste that image. Now because the image is really big, I'm going to hit Control T to and then hold Shift to scale it down. So I'm just going to bring it over here, scale it down a little bit more maybe even more alright select the move tool and hit apply okay so really this looks uh, pretty cool in and of itself um, if we look over here in the layer we actually see the full image uh, but because it is using this base layer as a mask we only see this heart shape and that is the base of basis of what a layer mask is. Um, let's go ahead and add another layer here on top of this mask because we can add an infinite number of layers here. Uh, so if we go to a new layer, check that again, hit OK, we can see we have another one on top of it. So if we use the type tool and type, say for example, love, first we're going to choose a white color for our foreground. Just click in there and type L O V. We don't want to, we don't want the E yet. Now I'm using uh, Arial Black. Now I want to use uh, the Move tool. Hit Control T, hold Shift, and we're going to scale this thing up a lot. Right around there. Select the Move tool. Hit Apply. All right. Now. Let's create, let's right click, duplicate layer, hit OK. And now we want to just put an E over here. Now, if I drag this down, there we go. It's no longer a part of a mask here. So, if I also move it over here, change the color, choose the type tool, change the color to let's say this blue and then just put E oops well there we go um, we kinda have like just a cool design say for example we wanted to continue this image right here well we can make it a mask as well so let's create a new layer select this button here to create another uh, layer mask here and then hit control V again and then control T to scale it down because it's really big still that's that one right there so all 
All right, select the move tool. And there we go. Uh, looks pretty cool if you ask me. Uh, and that's just uh, the very premise of how you can add uh, layer uh, masks. Now, we don't always have to just, it, it's not limited to photographs uh, or text. We can just add anything we want uh, and play around. So let's create a new layer. Hit OK. OK, so it's just uh, above this uh, paradise image, just below the LOV. Now, uh, let's add a gradient, for example. So let's make sure up here, this second one, foreground to transparent, is selected. And let's change the background color. Uh, let's choose this blue sky right here, and then make it a little bit darker. Hit OK. And then take our gradient. And there we go. As you can see, it still stays within. Uh, anything we do, obviously, will stay within the shape as long as it is a mask. And we can do any number of things, obviously. Uh, we could change the uh, blend mode of the layer. Experiment and see how that, I'm just using my down arrow, by the way, how it affects it. And there we go. We created a pretty cool looking design very simply and very quickly with the use of layer masks. There's obviously an infinite number of possibilities that you can use layer masks for um, and really it's just knowing when to use them. It's just a matter of practice and experience. All right, check out designcourse.com if you haven't and I will talk to you later. All right, goodbye. Oh, <laughs>